Hello everyone and welcome back to another create a sim video. Um, a while back I did a um, renovate my first build video and um, I wanted to do a make over my first sim video but my first sim ever was on PlayStation 4 and unfortunately I can't do that. So this is the first sim I ever created on PC and um, it's the one that I use as my matriarch for my original 100 baby challenge which is still one of my personal saves that I play every now and again um, I'm on matriarch 7 and baby 250 or something like that but um so this was Marissa Nolan and I didn't even take time out to give her actual outfits I gave her the pre-made styled outfits I changed really nothing about her looks when I created her. I just created her and went with it. So in this video, I'm making over all of her looks with CC, of course, which I did not have at the time when I originally created her. I didn't even have all the packs yet and, and everything. So I did give her one everyday outfit but then I went back and changed it and instead of leaving that at the end of the video I just inserted it back into right after I finished um, her original everyday outfit I think all I changed was her shirt so um, yeah I think she looks a whole lot better as made over um, every time I see a sim with the uh, Max's hair I just it it just I can't stand it. I hate the clay texture of their their hairs. I just I don't like it. So um, anyway, I did give her different hairstyles for different outfits. I like to do that if I can find ones of similar lengths and colors that um, you know would make sense. I mean, for short-haired females, I could always say they'd used hair extensions for a certain outfit or something like that, but. I typically try to to stay in the same length area whether it's pulled up or or what whatever um so while we watch this makeover transformation um i want to discuss my super sim challenge series um if you've noticed i have not posted it in quite a while and it's simply because i've lost I guess you would say I kind of lost interest in it. Um, it's kind of like the episodes to me seemed boring. Um, it just seemed like I was doing stuff to try to try to check off the list. And it was, I mean, I'm doing the Curator Legacy Challenge, which is pretty much the same thing, just with different generations. And so I would technically be doing the same type of task, just two different series and using different sims and I don't know I just I lost interest in it so I decided to put it away for a while and maybe one day if I ever start streaming I'll put it on a stream or maybe after I've finished curator legacy challenge I can start it back up or um, you know I just I don't know I'm, I was, I'm kind of at a loss with it and I think it would be best if I just put it away instead of forcing myself into doing it and being unhappy with the results of it. So I've really put that away. And the same thing with the Black Widower Challenge. I kind of went from posting that as YouTube videos to posting it on Instagram to just it's really not it's really not working out like I thought it would and I would rather just not do it then force myself to do it um, the goal of this has always been to do what makes me happy and um, I mean you know if, if my heart's not in it I it, it's going to show and I'm just it's just not something I want to do so that series has also been kind of kind of benched and to be honest with you I haven't even really wanted to open it up and even play it at all so it's just been sitting there um I can't seem to get his current wife Morgan to die it nothing works no matter how hysterical I get her 
she just won't die and it's kind of holding up the story anyway and um so yeah i just i may come back at another time and maybe do black widow challenge as a machinima series um i think that would work out a whole lot better than you know the, the way i was doing it. i wanted it to be kind of different and do black widower but just didn't work out so and of course my single team mom life series which I kind of always knew that this part of her story would have to be told in kind of a machinima type way and now that I've done it I have planned out I kind of don't see it ever going back to the way it was I kind of see it staying as a machinima so that's pretty much how it's going to be treated and um, I'm actually enjoying the process of that a lot more than I thought I would and hopefully over time my skills in that will get better and um, I've also thought about doing another Machinima type series but that will be a while off um, my goal at the moment is um, I know that my goal at the moment is since I know that the 100 baby challenge is only almost halfway done and um, the Curated Legacy Challenge, of course, I'm only on Generation 1, and there's at least 15 or more generations to go that they're going to be around for a while, and I don't want to overextend myself, and I don't want to kind of have more than I, more to do that I can really handle at the moment. Um, recording Single Teen Mom Life as a machinima takes a lot longer than if I was just recording a regular video. Normally I would just set my timer and just start recording and um, take that footage and just break it down into a smaller video. But um, with the machinima I can't do that. I have to like plan, you know, do see coordinate scenes and record those scenes and then edit those scenes down. And it just it takes a lot longer so once the fixer upper challenge is done which should be coming up soon because I've pretty much done all I can with the house at the moment that will go to a once a month a family update video then I have the Ren cage one which will go on for a little bit longer but not maybe not too long because I just have certain goals I want her to attain and she's well on her way of getting those. So after that I'll probably go down to just three videos a week um, and that would be 100 Baby, Curator Legacy, and my Single Teen Mom Life, Single Teen Mom Life Machinima and um, eventually as time goes on I may add in a second Machinima series, I'm not sure. Um, I've noticed that like my 100 baby challenge is typically my most viewed video every week and I'm really not sure if challenges is the way that I want to continue because it seems like everybody's doing them like the not so berry I thought about doing that but all of a sudden everybody's doing not so berry and I mean um, I don't know how much of one type of challenge y'all can watch um I know I used to burn myself out when I was watching like too many 100 baby challenge videos from different people and different legacies and stuff like that and I just I kind of don't want to get lost in the millions of others that are going on at the same time so I will probably um, try to do things a little different and not really follow the crowd I guess um, but anyway this is a Marissa and um, she looks a hundred percent better as made over I now see why many of her children came out looking kind of um, less than attractive without having to fix them and of course when I did this makeover the only thing I changed was gave her hair, eyelashes, and I fixed her eyebrows because I don't know why I left them the way they were. But other than that, I didn't change anything else about her figure or her face or anything like that. I mean, her eyes are the same. 
her nose shape her lips ears all of that is exactly the same as it was when I created her originally I just gave her custom eyelashes and um, changed her eyebrows and gave her custom hair so anyway I'm going to do some before and after screenshots and I'm going to end this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here and like my content please hit the subscribe button leave me some comments down below and I will see you in the next video bye